Hey everybody, my name is Colby from StarlingHardware.com and in this video today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Starlink plan from one type to another. And in this case we're going to be going from Starlink Roam to Starlink Residential. Start off by going to Starlink.com in the menu, select Sign In, and then go ahead and enter in your Starlink account credentials so that you can be taken to the account dashboard. I'm showing you this from a desktop computer, but you can also access the website from a mobile device. The steps should be the same, it just might look a little bit different. So once you're on your account dashboard, find the section that is called Your Starlinks. You'll see a list of all your Starlink units and plans listed out here. So find the one that you want to convert and then click on the Manage button. Now head over to the menu and find the Change Service Plan button. When you click Change Service Plan, it'll bring up a prompt and you'll be presented with several options as far as the plans that you can switch to. Not all of the plans are available to switch to, um, just the ones listed here. You can see that both of the Rome plans and then the Maritime 50 gigabyte version, and then also Residential, which is what we're gonna actually select today. So to change to a plan, just hit the button that says Change To. And you'll notice that we have a new message that pops up in our dashboard. It says service is scheduled to change on May 18th. That's the start of the new billing cycle. And then if I go back into the change service plan prompt, and I notice that the button now says pending, and then I also have the date of May 18th displayed there as well. And you may be wondering where that date comes from. Well, that's gonna be up to your account. That's the start of the new billing cycle, so your date may be different. And one thing to understand about this conversion process is that if you're changing from a lower price plan to a higher price plan, for example, going from residential to Rome, the change is immediate. Going from something like Rome to residential, the change will happen at the start of the new billing period. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're changing from Rome to residential, is that your service address will be the GPS location of where your Starlink Rome unit currently is when you make the change. So make sure you have it installed at your service address because there's no guarantee that you'll be able to change it later on, especially in a waitlisted area. And that's all there is to it. Make sure you head over to our website, starlinkhardware.com, for more articles and tutorials. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletter as well. Thanks for watching.